Virgos. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 12th to the 21st. I hope you guys are doing good. So let's go over the meditative session I did. Then we're going to go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen. And then we'll go ahead and do the actual tarot reading, okay? So Virgos. Your energy was actually really hard to tap into. I had to really kind of take my time getting into your energy. And then once I got in, I was like, oh, I see. <laughs> I see what's going on, Virgo. Uh, it's going to sound interesting, but I got like vigilante sort of energy going on here, Virgo. Keep in mind, the energy I'm picking up on in meditative sessions is energy that you could be experiencing directly, or it could be energy from someone within your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to. So keep in mind, Virgo. Someone in your environment could be harnessing this energy of like vigilante, taking action, taking taking matters in my own hands. I, I do feel an injustice is being witnessed, okay? I feel that really strongly. And injustice is being witnessed. And keep in mind, guys, like, I don't want to get all dramatic. I don't think you're going to start a war or anything like that um, or anything so grand. Some of you could just be as minor as like protecting your kids, right? Maybe your kids are getting bullied at school or something like that. And you're like, I'm going to take matters in my own hands, right? You know, like any kind of parent would, right? At least, you know any parent that cares would. Um, if this is romance, please be careful. Don't go slashing tires and shit. Okay, Virgo, don't go doing that. Um, but it does feel kind of bigger than that though. Like not grand, but it feels a little bit more, um, feels a little bit more serious. You're very, very serious about it, Virgo. You're very, very serious. You're not fucking around. You're not playing games. You're not making jokes. You're very serious about whatever injustice, is the injustice you are witnessing here. Some of you, this could also be humanitarian work. You know, maybe you're just sick and tired of watching our government do shitty shit, right? Or you're tired of seeing an environmental issue go like unresolved or uncared for. You're tired of, you know, people getting mistreated, the homeless getting mistreated or whatever, or, you know, meta, you know, pick your pick. I mean, there's so many to pick from on a global scale. So some of you could be really throwing yourselves into volunteer work or humanitarian work and trying to be that like, I, and to be honest, it's going to sound silly. I wasn't even going to say it, but I'll just say it like Mask of Zorro. I did hear Masked Man. I did hear Masked Man. <laughs> some of you could even be doing this in secret, which I think is actually really cool, Virgo. Some of you could be doing this in secret, you know, as, you know, for any of my wealthier Virgos, like maybe you're making a huge, huge donation to some kind of charity or some kind of cause. I don't know why Keanu Reeves just came to me. I don't think he's a Virgo. I always thought he was a Leo. He had like Leo vibes. Someone post down below if he's a Virgo or not. I always thought he'd be a Leo. I don't know why Keanu Reeves just came forward. I mean, I love Keanu Reeves. Oh my God. I doubt he would ever watch this, but I love Keanu Reeves. I absolutely love and adore that man to pieces for so many reasons. He's just a genuine soul and definitely an archetype for sure. Um, but anyway, neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, Virgos, that's what I feel like is kind of going on here. And like I said, you're very serious about it. You're very serious about it, but I feel this like energy of secrecy about it, which I think is why it was so hard for me to tap into your energy. You're protecting your energy when it comes to this. I feel like you are planning stuff in secret. You, and again, you could be just making, you know, maybe you're starting a nonprofit and you just don't want to talk about it. So, you, you know, all the T's have been crossed and I's have been dotted. I always struggle with saying that phrase. Um, but there's a sense of secrecy about it. And keep in mind, Virgos, it could be vice versa where, you know, maybe you're going through some shit. Maybe you're being mistreated or taken advantage of or experiencing an injustice and someone in your life is like, hold the phone, Virgo. I'm going to I'm going to do something about this, but they might not be telling you about it. Right. So just keep that in mind, Virgo. It can be vice versa, but it's very serious energy. It's very serious. Very, very serious. Um, so let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle. Let's get the cards calibrated. Keep in mind with the pre shuffle, guys. Uh, usually, the messages that come through pertain to the reading. Sometimes we get extra messages, though. So, if it's not resonating with you, then just hang out because you could get something during the reading. And I pick up multiple messages sometimes, and sometimes I get random channeling. So, there could be something for you. Just stick it out. Mm, using Santum work, though, guys, by the way. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, summarizing Venus and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Yeah, something that's definitely about your kids. I just have to be honest. Something that's definitely about like, your kids and you're going to the school and trying to sort shit out. And it's like, you've had it. You've just had it. Definitely if your kids are getting bullied. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. I did just hear rally. Ooh, I did just hear rally. Some of you guys could be wanting to go to a rally or organize a rally. I like that. That's cool. Feels very political, that energy I just picked up on. Feels very political. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo. I don't know what's been going on 
I don't know if my butt has changed or whatever, but I'm having trouble sitting. <laughs> like I keep falling off my chair. Anyway, they might have butt got bigger. I don't know. Uh, please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. I don't think you're yelling at anyone, Virgo, but you want to. I can feel you want to. Let's see here. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter Energy. Yeah, you're getting shit going. I feel like you're actually forcing something to happen. You're trying to force change. You're trying to cause change, Virgo, against this injustice or whatever it is you're witnessing, and it feels really positive. It's for the right reasons. That's the thing, though. It's for the right reasons. Just be careful on how you go about it, especially if it's like there's a lot of legality involved. Just be careful on how you go about it. Why am I uncomfortable? Sorry, guys. I'm very ADD right now. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love. Oh. Mm -hmm. Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy with the two of cups in reverse. Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy. For me as a reader, this could be a big head honcho that you're taking on here, okay? Someone that you feel like has really no compassion. Really no compassion whatsoever. Very tyrannical. I had to use that word recently too. I forget which reading that was. But like I said, you're witnessing an injustice and some of you, like it's your boss. Some of you, it's your boss. Some of you, it's a patriarchal figure within your own family or just, I hate to say even a political figure, but that is kind of what I'm getting here. Even a political figure. And the, you look at this person like they have no compassion whatsoever. If this is a love interest or somebody you have a family with, it seems like there have been pretty severely broken ties between the two of you on an emotional level. Let's see. Oh yeah, five of pentacles. Oh. <laughs> five of pentacles, Taurian energy here. This is uh, financial issues. Could be financial issues. You could feel like this person might've taken from you or stolen from you. Some of you do feel that way. Some of you feel that really strongly. It's almost like you look at this person like they're the problem, no matter what they are to you. Public figure, family member, lover, husband, wife, ex, ex person. It is a masculine energy, but it can be a female. So it's just energy, right? It's not gender. Some of you feel like they're the cause of some financial troubles. Some of you feel like they're the cause of your troubles. Um, either way, it's like you look at this person almost like a, how do I, not like a parasite, not a parasite, like, um, like a destruction agent. Like no matter where they go, they cause suffering to others. Oh, and for some of you, it's just between you and this person where they cause suffering to you. Oh, Virgo. Jesus. Okay. Keep in mind, Virgo, it can be vice versa for cross watchers. Placing forth messages. Mm. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. I really don't like this. I mean, this is a lot of struggle. I'm also getting like, like, it's hard to hold on to anything. Oh, hard to hold on to anything because of this person because of this person. I feel like this person is very manipulative as well. Very controlling, more controlling than manipulative. There is a difference. Um, controlling is, I, I feel like controlling is more like in the spur of the moment, very impulsive. Manipulative requires planning. <laughs> it requires being a little smarter than just being controlling. Um, but either way, Virgo, you look at this person like they're the problem and that they do like to control. And for some of you, this is financial control. So some of you definitely, this is a boss figure or someone that you uh, share finances with and you feel like they have too much control over the finances and that they don't really manage it properly or that you get the shitty end of the stick. Either way, you look at this person like they're the cause of your suffering or other people's suffering. Wow. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 12th to the 21st. Yeah, and you want to do something about it. You're tired of this. Yeah. On the bottom, we do have star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Yeah, you know there's a real there's a real need to like balance the shit out here. You're, you're getting very intolerant of the situation, and I don't blame you, Virgo. I really don't blame you. Some of you could look at this person like they uh, are responsible for people losing money. For some of you, this is big. Some of you, this is about like political issues, honest to God. And you guys are wanting to be more of that humanitarian, Aquarian energy, the humanitarian, right? To take care of others and to do something about this problem. Some of you, it is more personal. 
some hate is definitely more personal and that this person just causes um i'm getting strife causes strife loss almost like they cause shit and then they walk away they cause shit and they walk away whoever this person is to you some of this is definitely about politics he didn't want to go there in a reading i think this is the first time it's ever come across this big before let's go ahead and get into the actual reading itself so for those who are new to my channel new to tarot please understand these are very general messages okay messages come through for those who need to hear them as you heard me set the intention they are not for everyone so if it's not your week it's not your week don't try to make it fit don't do that don't do that there's no point in doing that you're gonna make yourself insane don't try to make it fit it's for thousands of people okay also, guys, we are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. And keep in mind that the gender of the cards does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy. We're reading energy, not gender, okay? Any messages for Virgo? Oh, did I get a... We're just getting started, but Two of Pentacles came out. I'm not going to keep it, but I'm going to show it to you. Capricorn energy. I'm getting more of, like, everyday life with that. Every The everyday struggle of life. Virgo, whatever this is, whatever this injustice is, it's like it either affects your daily life or someone that you care about or the daily life of the masses here. OK, and you've had it. You've had it. I'll say the, a group of people then all the masses. Please read the messages, please, for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? I feel like there's a lot going on at night. What is this? I feel like there's a lot of activity at night. Virgo, you could be doing a lot of this plotting or planning or making moves, getting things going at night here, or the injustice is taking place at night. Something about night. The cover of night? Virgo, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Virgo? What are you doing? What are you doing? Any messages for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. I think you look at this person like they're the devil, honest to God. And then we have the death card on the bottom too. Oh, Virgo, this feels really heavy. This feels really, really freaking heavy. Um, oh, I don't wanna go there. Virgo, some of you, this injustice, like that was getting like something's going on at night, something's going on at night. Someone's, someone's doing magic. Someone's doing magic. Um, and it feels like it, they're doing it at night. It feels like they're doing it at night. And I think, Virgo, you're aware of that. And I think that's also part of the injustice. You And for some, the magic isn't even being done to you. It's being done to someone else. And that is the injustice you want to be a vigilante about. That's, again, only for a handful of you. A handful of you, a channeling for only a few of you, okay? But this devil energy, like, this is the cause. This is the cause of the injustice that you're witnessing. It does It does feel very dark. It does feel very negative. It does feel very maniacal. I have to be honest here with what I get. I don't sugarcoat anything for you guys. I'm always going to be honest here. But I really don't like it. I really don't like it. And I think you're tired of it, Virgo. You're tired of it. I also feel like... um Con control it's like i don't know what that is <laughs> um i do feel a sense of control this person has their hands on a lot of different things is what i'm getting whoever it is that you want to be a vigilante against they have their hands on a lot of different things they control a lot of people they like to manipulate a lot of shit for their own benefit carnal i just heard carnal for carnal needs or car not really carnal's not really needs right carnal desires for carnal desire desires any other messages for Virgo? And again, this could just be between you and one other person, as close as family or a love interest. But for some of you, I feel like it's bigger than that. It's like institution. It's institution related, especially with this Capricorn energy, institution related. Yeah, I almost feel like like a, like a Mr. Mr. Or Miss Moneybag situation. Like this person, like for some of you, for some of you, this person, it has a lot of money and they kind of use it for, you know, their own carnal desires or screwing people over or manipulating situations. Again, that's only for some of you. Because some of you, this is very personal one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> Six, yes, yes. <laughs> Six of cups in reverse. 
Scorpionic energy could also be past life soulmate karmic energy here. For some of you, this is definitely a soulmate of yours, not for all of you, because for some of you, this is just like, it's bigger than just you and this person. Um, but I'm also just getting major unhappiness. Major unhappiness. God, the devil with the six of cups in reverse. I'm also getting obsessive. Obsessive energy with this, especially from my Virgos where like, you know, someone's practicing magic. They're, they're obsessed. They're obsessed with something from the past that's happened here. They're obsessed with controlling emotions, but it, like other people, like not themselves, like controlling other people's emotions. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this, Virgo. I don't like this. I'm also getting an energy of like tearing families apart. Tearing apart people, tearing apart the fabric of families, tearing apart the, f what is this? This feels cosmic almost. This feels really big. Um, tearing apart the fabric of families or te tearing apart the joy of others. That's what it is. That's what it is, Virgo. This person likes to tear apart the joy of others because they have no joy. They get a sick, a, I do say sick, a sick sense of joy about it. Okay, a very sick sense of joy about it. Ugh. Ugh. Any other messages for Virgo? Wait, did I get a peeker? Hold on a second, guys. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, we got three cards here. Holy shit. Four of Cups, Cancerian energy with the Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy, and Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarian energy. Virgo, what the hell is going on here? What's going on here? Seven of Swords with the Five of Swords. That's major manipulation, deceit, sabotage with the Five of Swords. Very petty. Very petty and very intentional. So I guess it is more about manipulation than control. Um, but with the Four of Cups, I'm almost getting this energy of like, what can I do about this? Like, Virgo, I feel like you're looking at this like, you've been looking at this for a little while. For a little while with this energy of like, there's no way I can get from under this. How do I do this? I can't get from under this. I can't get from under this. I can't beat that person. I can't beat the system. And now you're at a point where it's like, fuck, I need to beat the system. Like, screw this. Screw this. I need to beat the system. But before you get there, you're in that four of cups energy. Oh. And like I said, for some of you, it's it's more about injustice you're, wit you're, injustice you're witnessing that you want to help out with. I really feel it's political for a lot of you. Some of you, like I said, it could be like you're just seeing a loved one getting taken advantage of. Like you, you could be seeing a loved one being like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to take care of this. I don't know how to get from under this, from out of this devil energy. Let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any other messages for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Okay, last card out. Virgo, three of swords, Libra energy, my goodness. This is a lot of swords, this is a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain, there's a lot of control, a lot of manipulation, emotional manipulation at that, and, and control over someone else. Control over another person, control over another person's life. And for some of you, like I said, you're witnessing this in like a group setting where it's like, it could be within your child's school. It could be within, you know, just the government in general. And you're just like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't witness this anymore. I can't witness this anymore. The three of swords is like major pain here. Overall energy, we do have the four of pentacles, Capricorn energy, power and control. A big theme here, Virgo, of power and control. This is Capricorn energy. I've never actually looked at this very closely. It looks kind of cool though. Oh, I see. It's like, okay, this is kind of a really cool illustration of the Four of Pentacles. Sorry to take off a little tangent. ADD today. Do you see like she's actually like playing with people? She's actually moving people. And it, it does look like a she. Again, gender doesn't matter. It's just, you know, the illustration of the guard. But she's actually picking people up and moving them around like little puzzle pieces, like little, not puzzle pieces. That's not the right word. Um, pawns. <laughs> That's the right word. Like little pawns, little playthings, little dolls. That's an even better word. Underneath that, we do have the Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. And then we have the High Priestess, uh, Piscean energy here with Gemini uh, for me as a reader here. You know what's going on here, Virgo. I feel like you're acting as the Empress in reverse. You know what's going on. You can see the control. You can see the manipulation. You can see it. You can see it. But High Priestess, you're keeping it to yourself right now. Because I feel like you want to be that vigilante to be like, I'm, I'm putting an end to this shit, okay? Whether it's a political figure you want to take on, a political issue you want to take on, someone in your family you want to take on, or a loved one that you want to take on. But you, you can see that someone's manipulating multiple people. It's not just you. It's bigger than you. Oh, 
it's bigger than you. Virgo, my gosh, this is really intense, guys. It's gonna give me anxiety. Um, but let's look at this devil. Let's look at the devil here. I'm gonna use right away for this one. Actually, yes, yes, I am, I am. So I have the devil for Virgo. So I have the devil for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Of the devil for Virgo regarding love October 12th to the 21st Virgo I feel like there's something you did experience personally and it's like you just kind of were like it's the way of the world or it's the way things are right now but then when you realize it's happening to other people you're just like no mm -mm. <laughs> no definitely for some either so I'm at the devil for Virgo regarding love October 12th to the 21st Time of the Devil for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Hey! Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. Is it this queen who's manipulative or being manipulated? Being manipulated. The Queen of Pentacles. This could be a mother figure. Virgos, for some of you, it is you. Whoever, yeah, for some of you, this energy is representing you. Others, it's representing another person. So again, take this as it resonates. But this is someone who is being controlled, who is being manipulated here. For some, this is someone who's um, being targeted in magic. Um, others, I'm also getting an attachment to this person. I know, this is getting cosmic, okay? Um, yeah, for some, this Queen of Pentacles has an attachment. For some, they're having magic targeted against them. Virgo, some of you, this is you. Others, it's someone that you're witnessing, okay? And it is a mother energy. They don't have to be a mother, but it's mother energy. It's very maternal here. Um, they're pushing through it, though. They're pushing through it. Time about the devil. Time about the devil. Keep getting obsession again. Time about the devil. For Virgo, regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time about the devil. Time about the devil for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. I no, that's too many cards. Tell me more about the devil for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the Devil for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. You know, Virgos, for, for those of you where this is another person, I feel like, like I said, you've, you've suffered through this personally, a lot of you, but the second you see some this person getting attacked, getting targeted, or being affected uh, by this awful energy or person, that's when you're like, fuck with me, that's something else. Fuck with them, no. <laughs> Draw on the line. Draw on the line. Time of the Devil. Time about the devil for Virgo. Yo, yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now we have the King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. I feel like this King of Swords is behind this controlling energy. I really feel that strongly. Virgos, we're in the case where it's representing you as the Queen of Pentacles, you have that King of Swords energy of gaining clarity of the situation and understanding what's going on, understanding what you need to do about it. But for those with Queen of Pentacles as someone you know. I feel like this king is behind the manipulation. We're going to take a little closer look. This is going to be a long reading, guys, by the way. I feel like this is just kind of like heavy stuff, and I really want to take my time with it. Overall energy, we have the sun in reverse. Leo energy, and then we have the five of cups. Scorpionic energy, oppression. Major oppression. I'm also getting depression as well, actually. For some, uh, along with this obsessive energy, some have become depressed. For those where, you're, where there's a magic component, again, only a few of you have that. I gotta make that really clear. Only a few of you have that, okay? Um, that's where that energy is coming from. It's from that ma that magic being targeted here, okay? Um, almost like I want this person to lose. I want this person to lose. I want this person to suffer for whatever reason or another. But it's very oppressive. Very, very oppressive energy. Hold on, let me move the cards. There we go. Oh, wow. And yeah, look, underneath that, the magician. 
mercurial energy virgo gemini it could also be aquarius scorpio for me as a reader divine masculine energy yeah someone someone's definitely practicing magic here with the devil right there too someone's definitely practicing magic and they are targeting a queen of pentacles energy whether it's this king of swords targeting this person or virgo if you're getting targeted here you're gaining clarity as a king of swords in the situation of what's going on and that it's time to do something about it that's time to do something about it i do want to look at this king of swords though uh, let me see here let me use lenormand deck on this one so i'm with the king of swords and then we'll move on to this set over here so i'm about the king of swords for virgo i am getting a protective energy now and virgo like i said if this is someone else that you have your eye on like just you know like don't fuck with the queen of pentacles <laughs> um i do feel like you're very protective of them you're very, very protective of them. There's something about them that's very special to you, like close to your heart to you. And again, could it be your own mother, right? Because it is a maternal energy, but it's someone that you you really respect and have a lot of love for, okay? So I have this King of Swords. Let's see here. Oh. Mm hmm Wow. Wow. We have the ship with the letter and the ring ten of swords seven of swords ace of wands here okay with this combination this is someone moving away or trying to get away with the letter and the ring it's like communicating commitment leaving leaving something to go and communicate like hey i want to be with you or i want this commitment i want this to work oh virgo Virgo, this is feeling a little third party esque. Can we go to the Three of Swords here? So, for some of you, this is interesting. For some of you, this vigilante energy on the minor scale, on a minor scale here, talking about the minor situations you guys are finding yourselves in, there's a lot going on here. So, I'm trying to keep it all organized. So, Virgos, no matter who you are in the situation, there's a situation transpiring here where someone is targeting a Queen of Pentacles. A Queen of Pentacles is getting targeted. All the while, someone is ending a situation to move into some kind of commitment of sorts or some kind of loyalty of sorts or to like be called to action to protect this Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like the person who is being called to protect, called to action, is leaving behind this person who's acting out. Okay? That's in the more minor case. That's the more minor case. So for example, just an example, if there's a third party situation, Virgo, um, someone could be leaving someone for someone else and then that person's like fuck that I'm targeting the person you're gonna leave me for okay very very minor situation very very minor cases that I'm referring to now for those where this is bigger where this is bigger this is about whistleblowing this is about whistleblowing getting on the move with the ship getting on the move communicating that you know what I'm being committed to protecting uh, the people here or protecting the 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 people the victims so to speak and I'm really committing myself to that call to action, okay? Really committing myself to that call to action. Tell me more about this King of Swords for Virgo. Tell me more about this King of Swords for Virgo regarding love. Okay, we got one other card out here. Oh, yep, there's more communication. The birds uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, energy of 12, bring it down to three. Communication talks about this. Talk, and I feel big talk. So for those where this is grander, like humanitarian work, volunteer work, taking on the man, taking on institutions, you're like, you're calling allies in. You're calling allies to do this. Whoever the vigilante is here, calling in allies to make this shit happen, to start the ball rolling, to getting shit done, getting things righted and righting the wrongs that have been done here, okay? And for those where this is more of like that minor mundane, where it's like, Hey, you're going after my loved one or my person? Uh-uh. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. I do also still feel that whistleblowing energy with like the minor case. Like, so for example, if it's your kids that are getting targeted, you're telling them what's going on. You're telling them all the details so that they're aware of the situation so that they're not like, you know, totally ignorant about it and be like, look, mommy's gonna handle this. Or look, daddy's gonna handle this shit. You don't gotta worry about it, okay? minor to major scale here we are working with energy but it's happening at minor scales for some of you and major scales for some of you so take this energy as it resonates to your certain specific situation okay overall we do have ooh the lilies with that king of swords king of swords there with that king of swords very interesting it's a very mature energy oh oh that's crazy so i knocked a card down 
<laughs> off of a different deck because I have all my decks stacked right here. Ace of Swords, truth. Truth and communication. Yeah, so Virgos, like I said, for those where you're harnessing a King of Swords energy, you're being very mature about it because you know the truth and you know what to do about it and you're being true in your actions as well, okay? Um, for those where this King of Swords is actually pulling the strings and is behind this manipulative energy, um, it's going to come out to light. The truth about it is going to come to light and I do feel that they, they uh, I do feel, excuse me, that they are probably older or an old soul because they know what they're doing. They're experienced, put it that way. They're experienced in what they're doing. All right, so let's move ahead. Let's look at the Seven of Swords, okay? Let's look at the Seven of Swords and we'll look at the Three of Swords. Um, he's gilded for this one. Mm, okay. Ah! I'm not taking because I literally just picked up the deck, but we have Queen of Cups in reverse. But I just picked up the deck, so let's get into this. Tell me about Seven of Swords. So I have Seven of Swords for Virgo. Yeah, sorry, they're bringing me back here. Some of you guys are definitely networking and making solid, loyal connections. If for the... Shh. The card fell again and now it's in reverse. Oh my God. Okay, I'm putting this deck over here because it's curbing me out now. Uh, but some of you where it's more of like the humanitarian work, taking down the man, taking down an institution, um, you're making solid networking connections here to make this happen, okay? So I have the Seven of Swords for Virgo. Come out of the Seven of Swords for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Come out of the Seven of Swords for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Come out of the Seven of Swords for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Okay. Come out of the Seven of Swords. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Cappy energy could also be earth or a, a water here. I feel a very pissed off queen, actually, with this. This is really interesting. I feel a really, really pissed off queen. That's all I want me to say about that. Really, really pissed off queen, and it is the person being targeted. It is the person being targeted here. Very, very pissed off. Very pissed off about what's going on here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Like I said, minor stuff to major stuff for you guys, where it's like personal one-on-one, -on -one, all the way up to like public uh, mass groups of people, Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. This person's stability has been threatened. For some, their finances have even been threatened. Something about this, this queen's, sorry. Something about this queen's stability has been threatened by what's been going on here, by this injustice, by this devil energy, whether it's from a political figure, pulling strings, you know, making laws that screw people over, um, or it's just institutions, you know, being discriminatory, biased against this person, or it's like very, like, very, very personal between like three people or like less right? Their stability is being threatened and it's not cool. They're not, they're pissed off. They're pissed off about it. Tell me about the seven of swords. And Virgo, like I said, for some of you, you're this queen. So just take this as it resonates. Tell me about the seven of swords. Tell me about the seven of swords for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. I keep hearing call to action, call to action, call to action. Tell me the seven of swords. Ah. Find the Seven of Swords for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Find the Seven of Swords for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Got three cards out here. Don't know if I said that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. There's a lot of Pentacles here. This is actually all Pentacles attached to the Seven of Swords card. Uh. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy with the Three of Pentacles, more Cappy energy, and then the Page of Pentacles here. There is an offer here to, to, to help. This is a call to help, a call to assist. Virgo, you are definitely going to be talking to this queen. Again, if it's, some, if it's an injustice you're witnessing happening to someone you know, you're going to be working with this queen uh, to, to get this shit righted, okay? Overall energy, we do have Four of Swords. Libra energy, underneath that we do have the six of cups scorpionic energy could also be past life soulmate karmic energy here this is taking a rest to do it though i feel like this queen took a big hit for some it's definitely financial some it's definitely a financial hit but they took a really really big hit virgo and they are needing a time out to kind of rest and recover and recoup their energy and kind of get their wits about them but there's definitely going to be some conversations here and if it's a friend it's an ally that there's there's aid here um for this queen and I feel like you're you're the cause of that. I really feel that way. But like I said, we've got 
vig the vigilante, we've got the wrongdoer, and then we've got the person being targeted, okay? So decide which one you are. But this is definitely two people coming together and being like, let's take this shit on. <laughs> I like it though. I really like it. But but yeah, this queen needs a timeout because they, they really took a big hit. They took a big hit. So let's look at the three of swords and then we'll get some advice here. Mm, yeah, we'll use this one. Some of you are seriously starting like protest campaigns and rallies and things like that. No wonder you're protecting your energy. Tell me about Three of Swords. Tell me about Three of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Three of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Three of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of Three of Swords for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Okay. <laughs> King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. This is definitely the perpetrator. Definitely the perpetrator here. I feel a lot of anger from this person, a lot of rage from this person. Very, very controlling energy. I'm also getting very insecure though as well. Very insecure, very power hungry. Very, very power hungry. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Oh, I just heard you've done enough. You've done enough. You've done enough. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Virgo. Oh, Seven of Wands. Leo energy here. This person is definitely on guard. They have their alarm bells up. They've got their alarm bells up, Virgo. They know, they. it's almost like they, they kind of feel like you kind of know what's up which is why I think you're trying so hard to keep it secret. You're trying so hard to keep your efforts a secret because it's like, there's something about this person where it's like, they not that they have eyes everywhere. God, Virgo, what are you doing? Are you a spy? What's going on? <laughs> Do I have spies watching me? Um, it's almost like this person has like, has like a posse, has guards, has security. It's like this, per this person knows what's up and they are highly protected. They're highly protected because they know that they do bad shit. For those where this is more of a, a bigger thing, where it's more personal, Virgo, this person does keep a lot of stuff close to them. They don't, they don't reveal their cards. Thank you. That's what it is. They don't reveal their cards and you can feel a fight coming. You can feel it coming, which is why you're getting ready for it, but you're trying to get ready in secret because you don't want to alert them. You don't want to alert the enemy. My God. What kind of reading is this? Don't have the Three of Swords for Virgo. Tell me the Three of Swords for Virgo regarding love. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. You're kind of scared. You are. It's okay. You are kind of scared here. You're kind of scared. You've got some anxiety. You've got some fear about the situation. But you know you have to do what's right. It's because you know you're taking on some, someone big. That's what it is. For those with more like major, right, where it's like institutions and political figures, things like that, you know you're taking on someone big. Someone who has a lot of resources, someone who has a lot of security in any capacity. And that does make you scared a little bit. It does, but you're like, fuck it, I gotta do what's right. I gotta do what's right. And again, where this is more minor, especially for those dealing with like someone who's practicing magic, that's also why you're a little nervous. It's like, do I really wanna open this Pandora's box? Do I really wanna open this can of worms? Yeah, it's worth it, it's worth it. Tell me more of the Three of Swords for Virgo. Eight of Wands, you're on the move. Sag energy, you are on the move, Virgo. You're, you're, you're scared, you have anxiety about it, but you're gonna make it happen. You're gonna make it happen, you're gonna have these talks, you're gonna protect this Queen of Pentacles, and for those where it's more like major, you're gonna try to protect the people involved in this or the issue at hand. You're gonna try to fix it, you're gonna try. You're gonna try. Tell me about Three of Swords, because you just can't stand witnessing it anymore. You just can't stand witnessing it anymore. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Three of Swords for Vir Virgo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. All right, let's see what else we got here. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, this is like, this is perfect. Ace of Cups true unconditional love for the issue at hand and for the victims at hand and also for just maybe the victim is just one person but again like i said for some of this feels really big this feels really major the tower scorpionic energy could also be aries because it's mars energy and then death scorpionic energy you've got so much love for this cause 
or this person, again, minor to major spectrum, so much freaking love and so much passion to get this going that it's like, no, it's the right thing. It's the right thing to take this person down. It's the right thing to put this person in their place. It's the right thing to, to fix this issue, political or otherwise, right? And I'm taking shit down with the tower and the death card. I'm taking it down. <laughs> Overall energy, the Knight of Pentacles, which is your card, Virgo. It is the Virgo court card. Also could be earth or fire. You are making slow moves though, because you're doing it in secret. Very sly moves. Very, very secret sly moves because you don't want to alert this person to what, what's about to happen. Underneath that, we do have the sun, Leo energy. You're doing this because it makes you happy and it's the right fucking thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Wow. This is intense, Virgo. <laughs> Let me get some water. Mm. Um, and spirit animal deck for advice. I feel the intensity. It's a very charged situation. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Any advice for my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? 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 Okay. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Oh, you're gonna change shit up, Virgo. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. With the energy of 11, which is a master number, you're gonna change the shittiness of this situation, the people that are taken advantage of, the victims of the situation, even if it's just one person who's close to you, you're gonna change it and make it a beautiful, beautiful situation here. You're gonna remove this double energy. You're gonna try. You're gonna try your damnedest to do it. I also feel, Virgo, that this whole process Coming, coming to this point, thank you, coming to this point, coming to this consensus was very hard for you. It was very hard for you and there's something about this process that has changed you to allow you to do it. I'm also getting this magnetic energy with you, Virgo. Some of you could definitely be a public figure here. I keep getting that, like, especially if like you want to do like big, big shit. I really feel some of you are, are like major public figures here because I'm just being drawn to you, Virgo. There's something magnetic where you're drawing in allies for those where it's more major where you're drawing in allies and it's like people are captivated by you. They're captivated by your voice. They're captivated by your presence. That's going to really help you in this, especially those where it's more major here. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos? Overall energy, we have Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours, oh my. 16 breaking down to a seven. There has been a curveball, Virgo, and take it. Take it, take it, take it. I think the curveball is that you didn't expect to, how do I say this? Um, you didn't expect to feel so What's the word? I'm like, how do I phrase this? How do I phrase it? Let me, let me take my time with this. I think the curveball is that other people have been affected. When you were being affected, it's like, I'll take it in stride. But seeing another person get affected, mm, that was it for you. That was the curveball you needed to, to get up and handle this person or get up and handle this situation or get up and do something, to do something about it, to do something about it. For those where you're getting into humanitarian work, I don't think you ever expected to. I don't think you ever expected to get involved with, you know, helping other people in that way or charity work or nonprofits. I don't think you ever thought of yourself in that way or like looked at yourself in doing that, but you're being taken there, okay? <laughs> you're definitely being taken here. The Cody throws the curveballs to get us to where we're supposed to go to do the big shit with our, for ourselves. And for some of you where you're doing humanitarian work, you're supposed to affect other people's lives. You're supposed to affect and cause, not affect, cause change, excuse me. You're supposed to cause 
change here for other people and it's freaking beautiful you're gonna change shit virgo and it's time to get started okay time to get started uh, virgos this was a really intense reading really intense really crazy especially those who are doing more major stuff versus like more personal minor issues here 44 44 and i looked up at the phone um but i wish you the best of luck in this situation and i hope you guys enjoy the reading um don't forget to go on patreon check that out along, along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later have a great night virgos namaste